welcome back to my new video. So today I'll be reviewing the SH3 Guards uh Common Rider Chaser. Uh as you can see it's a box without windows, so which means Temeshi exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. So I got this at uh Toys or Games at Causeway Point. Yeah, because I was passing by and then I saw him. Uh got it for seventy dollars, which was really cheap for a Tamashi exclusive. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't come with a brown box, cause you know toys or games does stuff with the brown box, I guess. Anyway, so let's get on to a review. So, as it regards blurb, the Kamen Rider Drive logo, Kamen Rider Chaser. Oh my God. Purple what? Kamen Rider Drive logo. Kamen Rider Chaser in Japanese. Toei Company, Tomashi Nations, Bandai! Yay! So at the side, you can see as if regards, and then, yeah, pretty much that. Then more Kamen Rider Chaser as if regards. Then random blurb, then a pose, then more Kamen Rider Chaser! Yeah, so the back of the box is like this. It comes with a Shingo Axe! And the Shingo Axe has its Hisats function. His full shorter, I mean. Yeah. So without further ado, let's go on to the review. So uh, right out of the box you get the common rider chaser, but I'll review that later. Uh the shingle X and two pairs of hands, the open hands and a gripping hand for the shingle X. And then this for the full shorter function. Yep. So let's get on to the figure. And here's Kamen Rider Chaser! Yay! Yep. So, before you fix or uh, get uh, Chaser out of the box, um, he inside the box, he'll, his horns and will be separated from the figure because it's, I don't know, because it's just too big, I guess. I have no idea. Yeah, you can split it like that. Yeah, just attach it back. But be careful because it's fragile. You might not want to break horns, like how I did. Yeah. So yeah. So let's get on to a review. Um, before we get on to his articulations, take take an take note. His tire at the back doesn't remove. So if you want it to be removed, go and grab the TK. But that's for budget people like me. I just burned my wallet because of this. Yeah. Okay, so um, for articulations, the head can go up to here, and then down to here, left, left, right, and then you can turn 360 degrees, I don't know why would you want to do that. For his shoulders, can move to here, uh, 360 degrees, uh, his, you can get a swivel here, then his ankles, to here. And then, as you know, SH Regards has always his, their own articulations at the arms. Yeah. And the shoulder pad moves. And the nice design of the Shinigami. Yep. And then the body, you can move to up to here. Down to here. Then you can turn 360 degrees, I hope. Nope, you can't. Limited because of the belt. And shit. Yeah. And of course, the mark driver has its function. You can move it up. You can remove the signal chaser. So here's a closer look. I have no idea why it doesn't want to focus. But damn the design is nice. And it's and it can fit on the Shingo X. That's a good thing. Yeah, you can close it. For the legs, you can do a very good split. Yeah. And then to here, oh, and then to the back to here. Then you can get a swivel. And then, uh, his. Yep. Two jointed. Then his legs. And the front feet. And then a pivot. So without further ado, I'm just gonna 
make him hold his weapon. So what you want to do is uh, take the Shingo Axe out, then use the right hand with a grip, remove it, attach it, like how normal SH regards does. Then you just attach it right there. So there you have Kamen Rider Chaser with his uh, Shingo X. Yep. So for a weapon, it's really big because you know, show accuracy. Yeah, but I like how they design it though. Um, I'm just gonna remove it from him. You ain't getting the X, my boy. So here's the design of the axe. It's really nicely detailed, like the lining in the stop button. Yeah. Because it's a traffic light with an axe. Yep, and the wording though. It's really more detailed. Yeah. So for the uh, full throttle function, basically you just have to do a bit of stuff. You remove the signal chaser from his belt if you want to oops and he fell and then uh, you remove this just split it into half it's a pick system so you remove it like this ta -da. and then just attach uh, if you can see a pick there's a pick here with the signal chaser just align it accordingly and it's like that yeah. Um, and then you remove this transparent piece, and then you take the other piece that's included with this. Uh, do it however you want, and then attach it back. So this is in a uh, materoyo function because the green is being blocked, like a, how a traffic light does. So, yeah, it's a really fun gimmick. Oops. And then uh, you remove it again to swap to the other way around. And then for ite Yep. Yeah. yeah. So there you have Chase mowing down people with his X and stuff. Yeah. So the thoughts about this figure is um it's a really good figure but uh at first I found it weird about his lining here was at first I thought it was like this and then I'm like Oh oh it's normal. Okay, that's good. Yeah, overall it's a good figure. Um if you want him to hold a brick gunner that's also okay because his his gripping hands are like trigger finger for him to hold a brick gunner I I think. Yeah. Yeah. If you want him to write uh see on the right chaser, it's also good. Yep. So do like, share and subscribe to my channel and do comment down below what do you guys wanna see next. So see you guys next time. Bye.